All right, let's get a check of your weather impact forecast with our chief meteorologist, Chris Holcomb. We know it's hot out there, but also a bit hazy. Yeah, you know, a lot of people have noticed the haze in the sky out there, and that is from uh, the Sahara Desert. I'm going to explain a little bit about that coming up in just a second. Meanwhile, we are dry out there right now. We're still hot with temperatures that are in the 90s, but no rain here in our area. We have a few clouds that are building in here and there, but let me show you where we are watching the rain. We've been tracking some of these showers and storms coming in from Alabama. Most of those have been falling apart, so nothing in our area now, but we will be watching some of these during the evening hours tonight. Later on tonight, a few of those may hold together to give at least parts of West Georgia a couple of showers and maybe even here in Metro Atlanta, a low risk for a shower late this evening and during the overnight hours. Take a look at these temperatures right now. 92. We've got 95 though in Duluth and where we see some of that rain cooled air moving into Northwest Georgia, a little cooler there. 75 in Rome and 77 over in the Dalton area. When you factor in the humidity, yes, it is hotter or it feels hotter near 100 is the uh, heat index right now. We're at 98 here in town. We did have some triple digit heat index levels a little bit earlier, but now there it is in the uh, upper 90s. Here's a live look right now at our tower cam indicator looking over toward the city of Atlanta. And yeah, you see that that's the haze in the sky that Jonathan was just talking about. And believe it or not, this comes all the way from Africa. Saharan dust traveling across the Atlantic Ocean. Some of that getting mixed in our atmosphere here, and we do have that Saharan dust over us right now, and we'll continue to have that with us tonight. It is going to start to kind of clear out a little bit during the day on Saturday, maybe not as hazy and on Sunday as well. But I want you to be aware tonight when the sun sets uh, around 830 or so, it may give us some nice colors there because the sun's going to filter through a lot of that particulate matter in the atmosphere. Latest that we have on this potential tropical system that's down uh, around Cuba right now. It most likely is going to become a tropical storm over the weekend. The next name on the list is Debbie and then pretty much move up just on the west side of Florida. The models yesterday were showing it moving in around Tampa. Now it's showing it moving a little bit north here. That would be most likely late Sunday into early on Monday and then moving across impacting the Georgia coast, potentially based on this current track. But I think that's where most of the impacts for the state would be uh, in parts of southeast Georgia. If it stays on this track, we would be on the good side of that system. So you we most likely wouldn't see any impacts from it here, but of course we'll keep watching it. We hold on to the 30% chance for showers Saturday, Sunday and Monday with highs in the lower 90s. We are back to the mid 90s next week and right now looking dry, but that all depends on the track of that potential tropical system.